Happy holidays, everyone. Wookie Legend here. Welcome home. Today's video is going to be on uh, how to play uh, Russian destroyers for new players. So your detection is going to be very low. Just so you are sorry, not very low, very high. Just so you guys know right off the bat. Yes, you have torpedoes, but this is strictly a gunboat. Yes, you have smoke. Eventually, you're going to have an option of having a, a heal instead of a smoke come eight, nine and ten. But for now, we're focusing on strictly gunboat, so that's why I don't have my uh, torpedoes updated, because there's really no need. They're four kilometers anyway, so they're really good for ambushing around a corner, or they're really good for anything coming at you where you're not going to be able to outgun. You have your torpedoes. They still hit decently hard at tier five. So we're focusing on health, and we're focusing on guns. Um... And then we're going to make sure we have our engine boost modifier. My 10 points. Uh, I'm not doing the typical 10 points. Uh, as a beginner player, I would typically go with preventive maintenance. Excuse me. Last stand. Uh, survivability expert. And um, just to start, consume an expert. But there's another way to play Russian destroyers. And if you learn it off the bat, you're not going to have to worry about these ones. Uh, this one for sure, yes, last stand you need for every DD. But I'm going to go more for a gunboat build right off the bat. Early on, we know what we, we need. Our 10 points are these. So we go with uh, our rotation of our turrets, which we need because we're going to be roaming around quickly. 16 seconds, 180 turn is excellent. Uh, the reload 7 seconds, but they're 130 mil. So with that in mind... Um, you'll see, we have, we have a little bit of... Uh, damage we, we, we could do decent damage because our guns are a little bit bigger than the other dds our detection is horrible at 7.7 .7, but we're not going to play like the typical dd um so grease the gears to get the turrets turning a little bit faster last stand of course so if your engines are out you can still move around pretty much full speed uh main battery uh and aa specialist it gives us the reload of minus five which we need to speed up our reload because the guns are excellent and then we went with a uh, main battery and AA expert. The range then is 20% more, which then makes it the gunboat type. Um, with gunboats, you, you want to pretty much stay max range because you're so big, but yet fast, you're not very maneuverable. So the, the further you are away, the easier it is for you to dodge. Okay. Make sure to at least have speed boost, right? And one of the fire flags, Obviously, also get yourself some Julia Charlie. As you can see, I'm empty, but it is the holidays, and with the Santa containers, I will be getting a lot more uh, signals. I know I have a lot of um, credits. When you're in my position, you can plan ahead. So, uh, let's get into it. Uh, actually, we forgot a camo. Always get a camo. Even if it's the bare minimum type 1, always get a camo. And... Uh, Make it look nice. You're not going to see camos like mine because I have a mod on that actually makes the camos look all different. But uh, here we go. So what we're going to want to do is support. We're going to be supporting our DDs and we're going to be harassing the cruisers and battleships at range. Um, we're most likely not going to cap unless the, uh, the opportunity is there. We're going to cap and we're not going to be ambushing unless the opportunity is there to ambush. So. We're going to kind of stay away from the islands. We're going to open up on them. We're going to have them shoot at us. So then our uh, our battleships and cruisers can actually take them out. And uh, we're pretty much going to play harassment. We're going to harass them as much as we can. If we have to, we'll smoke out and disengage. And uh, yeah, we're going to hold a flank. We don't want to be in the middle because then shots are going to be coming in from a lot of spots. As gunboats go, you pretty much want to stay, uh, stay on the sides. You want to stay on the sides where you know they're only going to be shooting from one side. You have control of that, right? If you're in the middle situation with uh, DDs, you don't know where shots are coming in. You can't just keep your head on a swivel as much as you want. Um, we're the only cap here, or sorry, the only DD here, which is fine. We have, we're have we on the cap. So we're going to defend the cap. This is our one number one uh, role. Defend the cap, but we're still going to spot for our team. So what's going to happen is we're going to just speed boost forward. Speed boost forward until we get spotted. Or until we spot something. As soon as we spot something, we're going to start turning. Now, when I say until we get spotted is... 
the other DD is obviously going to spot us. If he's in front of us, it's a hill. He's going to outspot us. But uh, that doesn't mean uh, that doesn't mean much because we're gonna we're gonna we have speed, we have guns, we have a lot of guns. One thirty. This is what makes uh, the Russians fantastic. You don't play them like your typical DD. You play them like a nice little hit and run, hit and run, harassment, hit and run. If you have to get into an engagement, four kilometer torps, and there's a lot of them. Ooh, they changed the colors. Not yellow anymore. It's like this red now, or orange. Interesting. All right. Emil, right off the bat, we're going to make sure we're fully turned first and engage. Now, because our 130s on the light cruisers, AP works really well. But I am going to switch to HE. Oh, he's actually giving us broadside. Let's go back to AP. We're going to start hitting our speed boost and start dodging. Remember, never sail in a straight line. There you go. He's already gone. Our guys decided to focus him. Because they are focusing him. There we go. See? Their battleships can't even do anything to us. Say so well done. Because they helped out. And start on the next one. HE. And we're going to start spamming these guys. Oh, no. We need him dead. Cruisers over battleships. Always. Cruisers are, are, can out DPM you. Battleships have a hard time hitting you. Because you're so fast. But what we need to do is... We need to just focus him. We need to focus and harass. And there's the hill. The hill is so close, we're going to actually dump Torps. What we're going to do is we're going to disengage with smoke. As he comes out, as he has to. He can shoot us, but it won't help him. And all, all he had to do was take a second to just see where we are. Oh! Let's see, he got us. This is because uh, the Devonshire actually uh, got us pretty badly. But you understand the point. You want to duck a duck a duck you want to disengage. Unfortunately, I was very close, and he had some really good shots at me. So there wasn't really disengaging. That being said, we're going to quickly go into another game, and I'll show you again how to uh, DD. Um, I am going to play a different DD, though, of course, a different Russian one. This is a premium. Nonetheless, they play the same. Again, we're going to just DACA, which means just open up. We're going to open up. We're going to shoot them. We want to. This one has a little bit better concealment because it is a premium. It's an old school premium. A lot of you are probably don't even know the ship. Again, we're playing it exactly the same way. We want to speed boost around and shoot. We needed that Devonshire to be dead a little bit faster. Our guys didn't focus him like they did the Emil, so we suffered. But we did take out the DD, so an eye for an eye. The game is now without DDs. We did our part. We're, we're technically DD hunters, but at range. But when we can, you have to harass as much as you can. You have to, because you have the speed, and a lot of people love to focus. And as they're focusing you, they're missing you because you're dodging, full speed dodging, and your guys are shooting back at them. So it's it's the ideal ship to to uh, just bug bug everyone. So as a new player, I highly recommend don't go into caps. Defend caps if you have to. If you have one cap, defend it. When you have the opportunity, help out your other DDs because you are the help. You're you're there to help out. You have the gun, you have the speed, but you can't get in. They can, you can't. So you're there to support. You play the support role. When you're not supporting your DDs, you're harassing uh, everything else around you. And you want them to focus you because then that keeps them away from your ships that are going to be focusing them. You're you're like the guinea pig. Again, we have one cap. Uh, on this captain, I have um, uh, 
RPF, which gives me radio location of where the closest ship is. And you're going to constantly see it switching around. Uh, a lot of DD players actually grab onto this so that when you're blind like this and you don't know what's happening, um, you're not going to just come across someone by chance. You're going to know where they're coming from. The closest target's always going to be indicated like this. So if the next closest target's here, this will turn and indicate that he's going to be over there. See? So there's no big surprise. Now, same place though. We're going to go forward. We have our guns ready. Uh, we have our torpedoes ready. Well, when they get ready. We're not going to worry about torpedoes though. We're strictly gunboat. Torpedoes only if we have a chance to. When you're a 1v1 fight, there's no time for torpedoes. Just focus shooting them down. Because while they're aiming their torpedoes at you, and torpedoes take a while to get to you, but while they're aiming... And that the torpedoes get to you, you're still shooting them and shooting them and shooting them and killing them. So when anyone from your team shoots at them, they're dead. Right? If I'm going to waste my time trying to align these torps and I'm going to see where to, to shoot them, I I'm already down to 3,000 health. So don't get caught trying to dump torps. If you're going to shoot torps, you shoot them before the engagement. Preemptively dump torps, get them in a position where you're going to startle the guy. So as he engages you, the, the torps are already there, and he doesn't know. You engage them like that, and then um, what happens is they're either going to dodge, but put themselves in a bad spot because they, they won't be able to shoot and dodge at the same time because they have to focus on one or the other. Or they're going to take a torp, and then you're going to one-two volley them, and then they're dead. These guys are actually pushing in. We know where the closest target is, so even though I shot torps here, you don't know if the closest target's going to come around the corner. And then this will switch over, right? So try to learn the maps and understand where DDs can come through early on. So when you shoot your torps early on, you're shooting them in a position where most likely they're going to come through, which will give you an advantage. Um, I don't want to say 50-50, but you have a really good chance of either pushing him away or him hitting a torp because he's going full speed at them. Really hard to dodge when you're going full speed at torps. So, preemptively dumping torps is a, a very useful tool. Now, I'm going to back up with speed boost. What I'm still trying to do is spot for my team. We know where these guys are. I want to know where this closest target is. I'm going to keep backing up. And I'm backing up because if they get spotted, I go and I'm safe. If I'm going forward to spot, I still have to turn around. I have to pop, pop smoke. I have to figure out how to disengage the enemy. And that's not always easy. So sometimes you just have to take your time and back up. Now, our our team is keeping them split up. Or at least they went to split up. That means they're left open with this with this um cap. We're gonna actually exploit that. We're gonna exploit that and take their cap. But first, we want our torps to get there. So we're going to wait. We're going to wait just a little bit. There's the cruiser. But he's not closest anymore. He is the closest target now. If we could kill him, we're going to go into their cap. And we're going to bring back their whole team. Which then opens up our team to fire on them. Okay, we're gonna move in close. Now we're getting spotted, so we're gonna start shooting. There's the secondaries. We're bringing up smoke. There's this hydro. But here's the problem now. Now what we need, what needs to happen is he's hydroing us, which is fine. Uh oh, we don't want to hit this line. We need to get out of here. And he's opening up. We're gonna be broadside because he is shooting AP at us. We're gonna be broadside. I'm going to shoot torps again. Now, he sees the torps, but that doesn't mean he can just dodge the torps. What we need to do is stop shooting and get as far away as possible so his hydro cannot pick us up. And because that is happening... Yeah, the, the, the rest of them, they know I'm here. They know I'm going to the cap. Most likely, they're pinging their team. And I'm out of detection. 
There we go. It's flooding now permanently because he damaged Khan. He's dead. Now, I'm going to pull their whole team back. This is another benefit of having a fast destroyer. I'm going to pull their whole team back because if they don't come back, they lose to our cap, uh, to us capping their cap. So that means we're going to pull resources from their front. And uh, then their front's going to be half. Maybe not even half. They're already losing here. Our team's already coming in. If they're paying attention to the minimap, they know I'm in their cap. They know they're coming in. This is them coming in now. What's ha going to happen here is, because with this destroyer, I actually have range for torpedoes. The torpedoes don't reach them, but because they're coming at me, they're going to break the distance. They're going to shorten the distance. So I'm going to fire torpedoes as much as they can before they make it back. Now, I know I'm not going to cap this. Okay? They're going to come into the cap and stop it. I'm just trying to harass them and reposition them so then our team has a better chance. That's all that's going to happen here. Now, our team is coming in, so they are going to counter them. Oh, the Munchen's the closest target. Uh-oh. Closer than them? Perfect. So now I need to head back this way. I don't want to be near them. I want to be as far away as possible. And I have the opportunity, because I'm paying attention. Oh, never mind. He's gone. I have the opportunity to, to stay away from them. Now, we have smoke at 32 seconds. We have enough time to actually smoke up and start shooting them again. But, look, they're coming in. And I'm going to go for the battleships with my torpedoes. Because I have a better chance of hitting them. The cruisers, they move around. Plus, they're being shot at. So, it only makes sense that they're going to most likely dodge. The rest of our team's coming in. The smoke's going to be coming up. There it goes. See, they're in the cap. They're in the cap. There's the smoke. I'm going to set it. Unfortunately, this cruiser didn't know that we're dumping torps on the battleship. We did miss. But we forced them to go broadside to our team. So that means they can citadel him. Now what needs to happen here is we need him dead. He's actually gonna come in and try to hydro. If he has hydro. Oh, we see a DD. We gotta focus a DD instantly. Remember, we're DD killers. But at range. <laughs> kinda kinda tricky. Thing is when there's a DD by himself. He is uh he's you're gonna outgun him. Alright. This macaroni, I like to call it macaroni. Uh, is pushing. What's going to happen is we're going to go like this, like this, and we're going to leave. The his smoke helps him stay dark, but it also prevents him from seeing things. And if he doesn't have anyone spotting, that means he's in the dark too. There you go. Well done. Oh my. Oh. Perfect. We did our part. We brought their whole team back. And that's just me watching the minimap. As a DD player, your minimap is going to be your best friend. Press, press the plus and minus. Make it bigger and smaller. Make it as big as you want. Just so you can see what's happening. Help your team out. I saw an opportunity. Their team split up in half. So I took that opportunity and I ran with it. And uh, my team came and helped. And that's all it is. It's that quick. You could turn the game around right away. They had us out position too on the one side. But because they all turned back. And who knows how much they talked, right? Um, if you're going to go back to defend a cap, try not to do it with all the ships. Because that means that you're losing uh, that front force. And because you're losing those guys pushing ahead, stopping the enemy team from, you know, pushing ahead. As soon as you you all leave, then you, the guys behind you are going to be shooting at you because you're going back to your base. So who are you going to shoot at at that point? So it's very tough when you just split up your force into two when there's one cap. You always need to cover the middle, and I took advantage of that. Hope you guys uh, got something out of this. Just remember, try to stay max range. Keep an eye on your detection. 
and then hit and run tactics hit and run tactics don't just stay there and engage don't just sit in smoke and daka because smoke always attracts torpedoes so you got to be careful there take it easy everyone happy holidays again hope this video helps you out especially if you're a new player i'll see you guys later